Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Mechabellum. It's not really Let's Play. Uh, welcome to another match of Mechabellum Fun Time. We're currently on match number six, I believe. We're against Thomas Lemon here. With a lower MMR than us, oh no. Regardless, do check out our other uh, matches today, because they were just absolutely awesome. Some wonderful plays, some wonderful cheese coming out from our opponents. That was so powerful and so interesting. And uh, makes for some very fun fights to see and lots of learning to be done there. I think we're going to go for Speed Specialist as I do love Fang Phoenix. Although Crawler. Oh, wait. Aerial Specialist. Increased range. That could be really nice. Let's go Aerial Specialist. Grab some Phoenixes. Live the dream. They obviously went for a build that's quite nice. Supply Specialist. Three Snipers. And Mustangs. Uh, oh, well. That's all right. It's not like these are the only air units in the game, am I right? All right. Let's grab our Crawlers. Put them in my favorite position in these flank, anti-flank positions. Absolutely love putting them there. So obviously we know that our opponent is going to be able to deal with our air, no problem here. He really went for like a perfect starter build here to deal with this, which is fine. That's actually really not that bad. I think what we need to do though is just ensure that we have a decent amount of flak going on. Obviously Mustangs are just going to chew through a good chunk of our line here, but having a nice core army I think is really critical as well. Our Phoenixes will deal with the Snipers eventually if they have the troops to defend them. So, you know what? And Fangs, we trust. And thus, I will trust my Fangs. There we go. Probably the wrong play, but who knows? It's round one. I just want to see. I just want to see how it's going to play out. So, you went for an additional squad of Mustangs here. And potentially... Well, did he have three snipers? He had three snipers at the start. So he went for one squad here where I went for two T1 squads. This Mustangs are absolutely going to annihilate my uh, my fangs here. Oh, interesting. So he spent that extra 50 supplies to wipe out one of my squads, which is really, really strong play. He would have won regardless. So kind of a waste of money there. But it does mean I'm going to get a little bit more damage on round one uh, on my HP, which is not really the end of the world there. And uh, arc lights here would be definitely very nice early on to at least help deal with the Mustangs. They can handle the, the damage output roughly from the arc lights, and hopefully those Mustangs don't get too much levels there from the early push. All right. Intelligent Marksman. Well, I wonder what my opponent's going to pick. Underground Threat would be really nice to have. Enhancement model, Module is also nice for Giants, but yeah, let's try and go for Underground Threat because I don't typically go for these fun little things here. And uh, let's let's keep this one down in the back line. All right, cool. Next up, so because he has all these lovely Mustangs here, we're going to go for Arclight. Who would have guessed that we would go for Arclight? All right, mass recruitment. Because I think we can get the levels here, but this is really, like, other than maybe one more Arclight, this might be the max of what I go for. I'm going to have like a wider arc light here, I think, on the right side. Okay, let's see how this plays out. We're going to have crawlers pushing in as well. This will probably distract the Mustangs, or at least a couple of them, which will be nice. If the crawlers can actually get a kill here on the research center, that'll be good. I guarantee you, though, this guy's probably going to go for that intelligent marksman and try and get a sniper core line. We're seeing even more Mustangs coming out, which means that we really need to start pushing to deal with them, which is good because we have arc lights good to go. Uh, Stormcallers could be nice, too, until he goes for anti-missile, but we'll see exactly what happens here. Nice. We're going to clip that rear side. It's just nice having a little ability that gives you an extra unit to just mess around with. And look at that. That was a pretty critical critical win there. I might even decide to do a couple flanks of, uh, of crawlers just to keep that consistency up. There you go. That's a big win there. That's not bad. All right, laser sight or charged ammo or electromagnetic impact. I think we have to go with that one. It's just such a strong ability, I think. But, ah, man, photon emission as well. These are all incredible cards to be able to choose from. 
I think we're going to go for Laser Sight here. Now, he's probably going to go for Laser Sight as well. And we're going to see a weird, fun time bullshit <laughs> that we've seen in the past. Is this guy my hero? This guy's my hero because we put him over to the side. Awesome. So we have a hero with Laser Sight. I love to see it. Crawler's going to get upgraded. Why not? And, uh, yeah, we're just seeing lots and lots and lots of Mustangs here. I mean, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to do this, but I don't know, man. Maybe we can do range upgrade and then grab another, another Fang unit. And then maybe just kind of keep pushing out Fangs. That could be really good. I think that wouldn't be too bad. Let's get Arc Lights with range. There we go. Just got to keep these, uh, these Fangs on their toes. Only one squad out this time. I'm not really happy about that, but I want the range. I want the range. There we go. He's really going for that sniper core. So now we need to really start pushing out more chaff. And hopefully we'll be able to deal with this here. I think at this point, a couple flanks there would really do wonders. Just to also hold him back. Keep his uh, Mustangs from wanting to push forward too early. This is great. Obviously, we went for a aerial specialist, which does specialize in having really long-range aerial units. But obviously, with our opponent going for what he went for, we really have to be cautious about what we do here. I think we got this, though. We got this uh, this next round in the bag. Good. That feels good. Awesome. So as you went for a range specialist on that centralized unit. Seems like a bit of a gamble. We're going to grab Orbital Bombardment here as our opponent is definitely very centralized in how he's uh, positioned his units. Just right up here seems good. Keep upgrading these Arc Lights, which is great. That's exactly what we want to see. More upgraded Arc Lights. And then I think here we're going to grab a pair of Crawlers. Oh, we already have Crawlers. Good. Awesome. I got a pair of Crawlers here. One on either side, just to kind of mess with him a little bit. Now, this might not work out in our favor, let's be honest. But we'll see what happens. Upgrade all our units. Just keep everything on top of everything. And then we can go for a couple shields here. I think that would be nice. So we'll grab a shield here. It's one thing about your shields. They can't bleed over into the other side of the map. All right, you know what? All right, let's do that. All right, end the deployment. Oh, Vulcan coming out. Oh, my gosh. And, of course, my sentry missile just gets eaten up. Two Vulcans coming out. I didn't see that. All right. I think it's time to go for Phoenixes. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Okay, so we completely distracted their rear Mustangs there. Nice. That works for me, though. I'm not, I'm not too unhappy about that because now those Mustangs are just out of commission for a long period of time. Nice. Our, our Phoenixes getting upgraded there, I think, really helped us out. And now we just have a few Arc Lights to help deal with the, the massive amount of Mustangs coming out on the field. I, I don't think we handled that too terribly, but again, remember, we were assisted by an Orbital Bombardment, so that could be also problematic. Charge Shot could be really nice. A mobilized Battleship, too. Oh, feels so good. I don't know, man. Do we go for Overlords? I think we go for Overlord with uh, with armor. That could be really good. Parasitic ammo too. I think that's madness. But <laughs> do we? Oh man. I don't know what to go for here now. I I, I kind of want to go for Overlord though. <laughs> I don't know if it's the right choice. Probably is not. Um, parasitic ammo though is so sick. I love it. I'm going to skip it. No, I'm going to get mobilized bu uh, battleship. <laughs> All right. Because we are aerial specialists, damn it. We're going to grab armor enhancement to deal with those Mustangs. Which I think also carries over to our other mobilized battleship here. So we're going to grab her, put her over here. Nice. Let's get another Fang unit. Hell yeah. And then on the eastern side, as I did notice, there was a bunch of Mustangs that kind of scooted out. And they're going to do the same thing on the other side. I just want to do that there. All right. Might be feeding these Mustangs in the rear guard. I'm not sure. I don't care. It's fun. 
<laughs> yeah, they're getting fed pretty good. <laughs> you put sentry missiles there? What a waste of money. All right, this is great. We're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah, blast them. Blast them. I want to get uh, my, my upgrade on my overlords, but again, the snipers could be very catastrophic here. There we go. Oh my god, the sniper fire is so deadly. I don't like it. These snipers are going to get a lot of XP. Oh no, <laughs> they're leveling. I'm feeding. How could I? Can you like... Oh my god, these overlords. They're killing me, man. They're killing me. That's all right. I have an answer. It's called more flak. Let's pray. All right, he did get a turnaround here. And lots of levels coming out, but that's okay. Not the end of the world. It's not over yet. Ooh. Acid Blast could be really good here. Or Top Supply Specialist. Advanced Firepower. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go for, I think I'm gonna go for Launcher Overload. Or, wait, do I go for, maybe I go for Charge Shot here. To try and help with this. I definitely need the upgrade though. Oh! I don't know, man. This is tough. It's a tough decision. I'm gonna grab this guy. I'm gonna put him over here. Oh! I got 30 seconds. What do I do? Do I go for Launcher Overlord? Uh. I love it though. All right, you know what? We're gonna go for range because the snipers are buttholes. End it. All right, he's putting those sentry missiles down. They're all working out for him though. They're keeping his Mustangs from getting too distracted. It's kind of nice. Look at that damage! That's insane. That's insane. Oh my God. <laughs> fangs stay alive. Fangs stay alive. You fangs need to stay alive. I'm telling you fangs. It's like the moment the snipers decide to go for the overlords, it's like all over. Oh my god, does he have- he has crawlers? Does he have parasitic ammo on something? He does. He has, uh, has them on his uh, Vulcan. That's pretty smart, actually. Oh no! He's turning around! What can I say? I'm, the, I'm a pro player. I'm a pro elite player. I'm so- I'm so talented at this game. <laughs> oh man, this is fun. I like losing. I like losing. It's a good time. I- <sighs> It's the snipers, man. I, I'm curious, like, should I just go more phoenixes? Should I just go more fangs? I mean, he, now he has Vulcans, right? So, obviously the Overlord play might not have been the right choice, am I right? All right, 2200 versus 1300. He's won the last two rounds. Not a great feeling, but that's okay. We do have Nano Repair Kit. We could go for Range Specialist. I think Nano Repair Kit, though, would be pretty dope. Let's grab ourselves a 40 McFork Man. Give him nano repair. Grab Barriar. Upgrade our arc lights here. Upgrade the Overlord. And let's continue getting more fangs. Hell yeah, there we go. Get some distractions in here. Might pull his Vulcan over. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. There it goes. There it goes. Nice. Distractions. All right. Go, go, go. Blast them. Just get them out of here. Oh, no. Melting point is so good. <laughs> That's insanity. How did he know? How did he know? This is insane. Oh, my God. I think we got this, guys. I think we're going to win this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're absolute legends. Pro players, indeed. What can I say? I've never, uh, never not been 700 MMR. Hell yeah. Stay in there. Stay in there. Keep fighting the good fight. They're only snipers. They only do a lot of damage. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know what to do. I don't think we're going to be able to survive whatever damage is coming our way, though, unfortunately. Darn. Oh my god. Oh, nope. We're still in it. We're still in it. We're tied. It's not over yet, Snake. It's not over yet. Hmm.
do we go for? Oh, we can actually. Ooh. Don't mind me. Just flaming. Just flaming away. Rocket punch would be insane. Oh man. I don't know what to go for here. <laughs> I'll be honest. Do we go out? Oh, do we go for the Phoenix play finally? Do we finally go for Phoenixes? Is that what we do? Or do we go for, uh... Oh, shoot. Or do we go for, uh, Wasps? Oh, <gasps> is this the play? What do we got here? What do we got here? We got Armor Piercing. We got Anti-Ground. I like the sound of that already. We got Range. I know they have Mustangs, but <laughs> I just want to... Maybe? I don't know, man. What the hell? <laughs> Maybe we can do something? Uh... All right. Praise. Pray for enlightenment. Let's begin. Let's do this. Terrified. Get those stupid snipers out of here with fire. Burn them. Burn them. Oh my god. I love how fast that one guy just explodes, that Vulcan. It feels so good. I hate how close my overlords get. I want to get launcher overload, but it's just so scary. <laughs> I don't know if the fangs are the right choice, man. <laughs> That's so sad. Oh, but maybe! I don't even think it was the fangs this time. I think it was just the fire that was on the ground. Oh my god, this is insane. <laughs> the range upgrade, though, on the fangs is kind of nice. I'm a big fan. He definitely has, like, that uh, healing array or something on the melting points, which is really scary. Damn it! We're so close. 68, and he can still absolutely win. Absolutely. Oh, man. Okay. I think we have to go for Photon. I don't think we have a choice there. But of course. Um, our tanky boys could be more tanky. I don't see what's wrong with that. I say tanky boys, they're just fangs. Okay, so we have a mobilized mothership. Get her out here. I think that's going to pop off way early, so... You know what? Just do something like that. Orbital Bombardment. Right here, please. What do we do? Upgrade these guys for damage. Yeah, man. Just keep, them, keep everyone healthy. Keep everyone feeling good. You know what I mean? I can't believe those cost 100 to upgrade. That's insane. Get a distraction unit here. Pull him over. I don't think we're going to win this, but let's find out. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh god, what did they go for there? That was... Armor piercing bullets and AA. Uh-oh. He's like, oh no, it's my time. These Mustangs I've had here the entire game. I can finally do something with them. <laughs> it's crazy. Alright. He didn't really grab any uh, abilities on the map either. Oh, did he sell his Vulcan? Ooh, I guess it was getting toasted after, like, one shot. The range on these snipers, though. Can I just... Can I just say... That is absurd. Don't worry, I have uh, air units to counter your anti-air units. That's the whole point of them. <laughs> That's so stupid. I love it. It's alright. Uh, the snipers, though, are the problem. Really, that has been the major issue the entire time. All right, so our wasps didn't hold up too well this time around, but now we finally got one of their research centers. We might be able to come through here. The extra mothership's kind of nice. Or overlord, excuse me. Mothership is one of the abilities that lets them summon wasps. Which I don't even think is that good of an ability. It's kind of cute, but, you know, not great. Oh my god! Did we pull it off? <laughs> this is the closest match ever. This is an amazing match. 
I love it. We're yin and yang today, man. Losses and wins all day. This feels good. I like it. I feel like I'm learning a lot. I found a way to use overlords for a little bit. Overlords. Overlords so sick. That was fun. Uh, obviously, getting my overlord upgraded here meant lots more HP. Really, I find the best part about overlords is bringing them out with advanced firepower. But obviously, we gambled here. We didn't know if we we're going to get any sort of special card that would buff our overlord and make them better. I feel like this fortress was completely uh, useless. Uh, I mean, the, the barrier, the barrier here is nice. But obviously spawning in with 40,000 is not the best. Maybe spawning a fortress in with uh, at level 2 with barrier would be better. Um, but yeah, the nano repair kit unfortunately didn't pay off here. Uh, it does have its potential, but I think they just the melting points were obviously a critical counter there. Pretty smart to grab heavy armor though and throw it on your melting point. Just making it a little bit more tanky. Um, and the parasitic Vulcan. That was smart because I really don't have anything to deal with that. Um, obviously I'm just feeding him a couple of fangs every turn. You know, just gobbling him up like a good little Pac-Man. I finally put some flanks out on the field, and it was distracting his units just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Not for long, though. And um, that was fun. I like. I need to flank more. I need to do more flanks. They're fun. They're not mission critical, but they, they do help a lot. Regardless, what do you guys think of this match? It was absolutely insane. What would you have done to counter your opponent in this scenario with massive core snipers here? With lots of Mustangs to deal with your... Air units. Would you have gone air units to counter anti-air units? Actually, maybe. I don't know. I, I love overlords, man. With their shield ability. Oh, counters the Mustangs so nicely. As long as they can stay relatively leveled, the Mustangs have a much more difficult time getting through there without their uh, uh, armor-piercing rounds. Ah, oh, what a fun round. What a fun game. GG, Thomas Lemon. GG, indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.